Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching, we're in Statics and today we're going to do problem 11 uh, from chapter 8, okay? So 8.11. Determine the maximum weight W the man can lift with constant velocity using the pulley system. Without and then with the leading block or pulley at A. The man has a weight of 200 pounds and the coefficient of static friction between his feet and the ground is mu of S which is equal to 0 0.6, okay? Now, so we need to figure out what is this weight, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to do the free body diagram, as always, you know, guys. So we're going to do the free body diagram of these men. So we're going to start with part A. Now, we can assume the guy is kind of like a beam that is standing up, okay? Now. The guy has a tension 45 degrees that we're going to call it just tension because we don't know how much that is, right? Then we have the weight of the guy that is going obviously down, which is 200 pounds. Then we have the normal force with respect to the floor and the man that we're going to call it N for normal. And then as you guys can see, this tension is going like this. So my object in this case, a man, wants to go in this direction. So my friction force is always opposite to the motion, okay? So I have my friction force going like this, okay? Now, what do you, we know about friction? Well, friction is fun. And what I mean by fun is that the friction is equal to U multiplied by N. So this will be my uh, friction and this will be my normal force and then this is the frictional force okay this is the coefficient of friction so since we know that and we know mu then we know that this is equal to 0 0.6 multiplied by my normal force n okay so by knowing this now what can we do well we can do some material forces in the y and in the x direction so let's just start by that we can start with some material forces in the x direction we're going to assume that going to the right is positive and what do we have okay so let's not forget that this is at 45 degrees so we will start with negative t multiplied by the cosine of 45 degrees plus 0 0.6 of n and all this should be equal to zero right then from here, if we solve for my force n, we can basically say that n is equal to t cosine of 45 degrees divided by 0 0.6. Okay, now we can apply the summatory of forces in the y direction. We're going to assume that going up is positive, and what do we have? Well, we have t sine of 45 degrees going up positive then we have negative 200 pounds then we have positive n should be equal to zero if we solve for t right and then we plug in so let's start first plugging in what n is with respect to t which we already did have in here so we we'll have t sine of 45 degrees we're going to move we're going to move the 200 to the other side so we're going to put positive 200 on the other side of the equation and we're going to replace my t uh, my m for t cosine of 45 degrees divided by 0 0.6 okay now we can solve for t and we will find out that this will be equal to 200 divided by what will be divided by sine of 45 degrees plus cosine of 45 degrees divided by zero point six okay and we will find out how much this is so we plug this into our calculator and we will find out that this is equal to a hundred and six pounds now if we go back to our question we just found out t but if we go to our question we need to determine the maximum weight w and 
This weight W is not the same as this tension. Therefore, we need to find a way to, co to connect W and my tension T that I just found. So if we pay attention here at my pulley at Z, we can do a free body diagram and relate these two guys with each other, okay? So this is how my pulley system looks like at my point C. This is at C. Then I have a tension going up, a tension in the middle going up as well, and a tension at the end going up as well. Then we have the weight going up. This is the weight, the one that we're trying to find. And just, I'm going to go up and forget my free body diagram for a little, zooming in here and explain what I just draw. So I have the tension going up from this cable, the tension from the middle, and also the tension from the left. What do we know about this pulley system? Well, we know that these tensions should be equal in order to maintain an equilibrium with respect to my pulley system, okay? So if all of them are equal, we can just call it tension. And since that's what we want to make a relationship between my tension and my weight, we have the sum of three of forces in the Y. We're going to assume going up is positive. And what do we have? Well, we got three T's minus W should be equal to zero. So if we solve for W, should be equal to three times T, okay? Now, we know T, so all we need to do is let me name this guy, so F, B, D, add C, okay? Now, we can say then that for my problem A, so for A, W has to be equal to 3 times my T, and we found T to be 106, so 106, and if we do this, so we multiply 3 times 106, will get me... 318 pounds, okay? So this is the first answer. This is the amount of weight that we can carry with this system. Now, the other one that we need to do is with the difference that we have this extra pulley here at A, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to draw a free body diagram just like we did for my part A, so F, B, D, in this case from our part B. And what do I have? Well, this is our guy standing up. Now our tension is totally horizontal. We're gonna call it T. We have still the weight of the man, which is 200 pounds. We have the normal force. There you go. That we're gonna call it N. We have the frictional force that we already know that is 0 0.6 multiplied by n. And after a free body diagram, summatory of forces in the x, y direction, and so for these unknowns, okay? So if we do the summatory of forces in the x direction, going, not going up, I'm sorry, going to the right is positive. What do we have? Well, we got negative t plus 0 0.6 n. And that's it. So from here, we can basically say that T is equal to 0 0.6 N, okay? Now, we're going to have that going up is positive for my summatory of forces in the Y direction. So we can solve for this tension T. And then we have, what do we have? Well, we got negative 200 plus N. And that's it. It's a simple free body diagram. This should be equal to zero. Then from here, what we can state is that N is equal to 200 pounds. Now that we don't N, we can solve for my T. So T is going to be equal to 0 0.6 multiplied by 200, which is the value of N. And we will find out that this is equal to 120 pounds. And let's not forget, our pulley system for my part B looks just exactly the same all the way into here, right? So we have the same W with respect to T. Now the difference in here is this, but this should be T, and then this should be T. 
So we're talking about that is the same T again. Basically, I just wanted to make that make sure that we were having the same relationship that in part A, where W is equal to three times T. So the last step we're going to do is they're going to do three times T, which is 120. And this will be equal to 360 pounds. Okay. So we found our answer for part B and we found our answer for part A. So basically with this system, we'll be able to have a bigger load than with this system. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.